once again, it is, <clears throat> it is Monday, which means that it is Mission Monday. And uh, I am certainly, certainly excited uh, about the opportunity to be back with you on today. As always, I appreciate you joining me and just taking the time to be with me. You know, but more importantly, it's, it's, it's not so much about me, but it's about the time that, that you give God. Uh, and I hope now that you're back and we're back, I hope and pray that everybody had a great holiday break. You know, I know that your time is precious and I appreciate you sharing it with me. But uh, as always, I say, uh, it's, it's more importantly the time that you give God. And I thank you for that. So as always, let us begin with prayer. Uh, God, I am your servant. Use me, hide me behind the cross that, that your people will hear from you and, and that they will see you and not me, you know, touch the hearts of all who hear your word today, your message today, Lord God, allow them to receive it, become not only hearers, but doers of your word. Give them the courage that they need to open their hearts to you, Lord God, that you may use them in a mighty way, Lord God, so that the world will know and the world that will see that they are yours. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray, amen. Now, today I want to talk about a little bit about a strong prayer life, and, and this came to mind about, about uh, pretty much as I was making my return trip back to you, you know, uh, and as I said before, it's just great to be back with you. Thank you again for being with me. And as I prayed and as I sought guidance from God as to, uh, as to what he would have me share with you today. Uh, God took me back several days. Uh, you see, when when I was away out on the West Coast, it was time for me to return, and and I was hit at the airport ready for my flight. And I'm thinking about all the weather and people that were missing flights that were being canceled, but it seems like everything was going smoothly with my flight. We're ready to go. And once on board the plane, everything seemed okay. And then the pilot came over the intercom. You always hate when that happens, but when that pilot came over the intercom and he said that the connection that enabled him and the co-pilot to speak to one another was broken. Uh, and that the maintenance team had been notified and that they were on their way. And so some 40 minutes later, after our original time, uh, we were headed to the runway. And as we took our position uh, for takeoff, at the edge of the runway. Before getting on the runway, the pilot came over the intercom once again, and he said that the communications between himself and the co-pilot again was experiencing difficulties, and we were headed back to the gate for repairs once again. After many prayers and 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 good, the new good news came over from the pilot that all had been resolved. Two hours after our original takeoff time, we were airborne, wheels up, and I, along with some 200 other passengers, were on our way to Orlando. Even the kids were happy to be on the, on the, on the, in the air at that time, but it was a good time to be in the air. And when I think about this, I think about the communications, the need for communication, effective communications that we have and we need to have with God. You know, God reminds us that communications between yourself and him, those communications are very important. Uh, today, the need to have a strong prayer life, to have an effective, sustained prayer life with God, it really is a must. And when I look to the word it talks about in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 16, he says, rejoice always, pray continuously, give thanks to, in all circumstances. The NIV says it this way. You probably heard it before. It says, pray without ceasing, ceasing. And in all things, give thanks to the Lord for, for this is his will. This is his desire uh, that we would have this prayer life, sustained prayer life with him. First John 5 looks at it this way. He says that this is the confidence that we have in approaching God, that, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. He knows us. 
He understands our thoughts. Even before we even speak to him, he understands our thoughts. You know, prayer is treasured by God. And the other important part is that prayer opens the door for an intimate relationship with God. It allows us through prayer uh, to speak to those things that we want to have happen in our life. You know, as I said before, God wants us to pray. You know, prayer changes things in our lives. You know, before virtually every miracle performed by Jesus himself, he prayed to the Father because there's something in prayer, there's something in that communications that we have that we sustain with him that allows him to hear us and to know our heart. You know, and, and what he says is that says when we when we do that, Prayer opens up the doors that allows us to share what's going on in our minds and our hearts and allows us to communicate better with him because then we can speak what's going on. We can speak our hearts to him uh, in prayer. Prayer is not one of those things where you got to be grandiose and, and stand up in front of people or uh, grandiose and stand up in front of big crowds. And here it is, and I'm the greatest of prayer warriors in the world now. Prayer is just that intimate time that you have between yourself and God. When you can sit down and pour out your heart, when you can lay out the things that you desire to have in your life. But the other part that is good to that is to know that if we speak to the Father, he'll speak back to us. You know, he'll talk back to us. He'll answer our prayers. He'll, he'll come back and just say, all right, then I hear your prayer. Uh, but let's hold off for a minute. I'm not ready for the, to give you that just yet. Or let's try something a little bit different. I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm a, I'm a playing it out a little bit different my way than, than your way. And then there's times when he's just going to say, you know, I heard that prayer. I heard their request. And nah, that's probably not the best thing for you at this point. So I, now I'm just going to say no. But we must be diligent and know that he loves us and that he is there for us and that those things that he will grant two ways. One, for the edification of the kingdom. Two, that he will be glorified. And three, that through you, through the prayers that you have through you, that he will take you to places and put you in front of folks. The word says that he will gift you. And that, that your gift will bring you in front of great men. Um, I, I take it a little bit different with that. I say not only will your gift bring you before great men, but great men will come before the gift that God has put inside of you. Ultimately, prayer allows God to communicate, allows him to put those things and those elements inside of you that he wants to have inside of you. So that when you do come before these people, that, that the gift will be before them and they'll be before the gift. And the gift will communicate with them through you. Prayer opens the doors and allows God just to use you even more and more. Your will becomes his will. And that's what we are today. So again, whatever it is that, that you ask in prayer, believe it, accept it. And it, the word says that it will be yours. <clears throat> and so we must continue to do that. Yet I know oftentimes we are challenged, uh, find ourselves with our schedules are running like crazy. And, and it seems like uh, maybe there's not the time that we need. Do we have God penciled in on our agenda? Do we have him set up time early morning before the day gets started, you know, do we have that in place? And so I do know that sometimes we get busy. Sometimes we are overwhelmed. Sometimes we're tired. You just, you just, you just got so, so much going on. You're exhausted. You're so challenged. And so, and so, and so forth on. But we must make time for God. We have to find ourselves when, when we're not connecting, when we're not talking, when we're not praying, not feeling the desire or even just the need to communicate with God. Sometimes we just get so pulled away from it that we don't have the desire to talk to God. To be honest with you, we're challenged. 
but we know at this point that we must understand that we're not communicating effectively with God, we're not communicating properly with God, that we have a tendency to lean to our own understanding. You begin to trust more in your accomplishments. You, you find yourself placing more emphasis on your resume than asking God just to order your steps. But we must trust God to lead. We must trust God to guide, to protect us. As we serve, we strive to be all that God has called us to be. Uh, it is all about service and all about being with him. It's all about trusting in him. So prayer, even when we look at the disciples, the Lord's prayer, and he said in the gospel of Luke, he said, Lord, teach us to pray as John has taught his disciples. And we listen to that. We want to know that what happens even in, in Psalms 145, it tells us, it the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all, all who call on him in truth. Jeremiah 33 makes it said to us, tells us this way, it says, God tells us, call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you did not know before. Listen, as I close, I just want to let you know, here it is. Let's go to God in prayer because prayer is so important. Sustain yourself, be there for you. Know God for who he is. And because of prayer, God will be there for us as well. So. Let's go in prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, holy is thy name. Father, we seek your presence today. We ask you to help us in our prayer lives, to help us to become more intentional about connecting, Lord, about speaking with you, communicating your wants and, and desires, our dreams, our hopes, bringing you into lives, into our lives, so that we can be better servants to you and to your people, Lord God. Lord, we would be remiss if we didn't pray for the people, for the victims of mass shootings which run rampant in our society today. Father, we just thank you for, for all that you are and all that you're doing. We would love you, Lord, so much for that. Um, Father, be with our leaders. Once again, Lord God, help them, lead them, guide them, show them the way. Father, we ask that you continue to be in their hearts as they make crucial decisions that govern our land and, and the world in which we live. And as always, we reach out, Lord God, to the nurses, the doctors, the tech, Lord God. We reach out to those who would be there to take care of us, to the caregivers, Lord God, who, who labor in love for their loved ones, for their friends, Lord God, the volunteers who step out just to be with the people that are in need. Be with the first responders, as always, Lord God. Be with those who stand out, Lord God those who walk into the flames, those, Lord God, who walk toward the shots, Lord God. Be with them, Lord God. Be with the paramedics as they arrive to try and save life, Lord God. And of course, as always, Father, be with those that are in need. Be with the needy, Lord God. Be with the sick and the shut-in. Be with the ones that are, that are down and can't get back up anytime soon without help. Be with them, encourage them, lift them up, answer the prayers, Lord God, heal them. We ask so much of you, Lord God. We thank you so much for being the incredible God that you are today, Lord God. We thank you, it's in the name of Jesus that we pray, and as always, giving you honor, giving you glory. Thank you today, Lord God. Be with your people. And as always, I'm here for you, as always, if there's a need, if there's something I can do, if I can pray for you, if I can sit with you, 
you know, maybe Aunt Susie's having a difficult time. Maybe she's going through something like that. Let me know. I'm here. We can add them to the prayer list, but here for you. We get the, the ability to communicate with me is going to pop up on the screen and you'll be able to reach out to me. So I thank you today. Again, appreciate you. As always, God loves you. And as the week goes forth, what an incredible week it's going to be. Enjoy the blessings that God has for you. Walk in his name and walk in his love. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed week, everyone.